When it comes to green energy, things are looking pretty bright here in Dubai. These solar panels behind me are just one part of a wider Emirati project to achieve net zero emissions by 2050. The University of Dubai is already a net zero campus and Dubai itself overall gets about 14% of its electricity from renewable solar energy. But green digital energy needs green digital skills. And those skills are something that the Dean of the University's College of Engineering and IT, Professor Wafik Mansour, is a big believer in. So what do we actually mean by green digital skills? So digital uh, skills, digital economy, digital green, it's all based on digital technology. And this product helping the environment. So that's why they call it digital green technology. For example, uh, a product that help in uh, management of uh, water resources, uh, management of waste management, uh, pollution controls, among others. So how important are these skills, these technologies as well, but the skills underpinning them specifically, how important are they for the green transformation of an economy? That's a great question. I think when we talk about skills, we're not talking about only uh, skills that are technology-related skills. We need all the skills. We need the skills from business, community, we need the skills from the industry, we need the skills from definitely engineering, IT, even from the law as well. So all these collectively will uh, pour, uh, pour on toward the uh, elevating obstacles and uh, and face challenges toward the green energy, digital green energy. Industries must have a role to play. I know Huawei has seeds for the future programs, talent programs to develop that talent. And that is where academia and industries really have a, an important role to play. That's great, yeah. You know, as I told, I mentioned to you earlier that uh, I finished my PhD student from Aston University. And Aston University, I finished it actually in 1990. And at that time they have a well-established science park mm. where the, they brought the industry to the university. So the campus of Aston University in Birmingham, UK, uh, part of it is the usual, the campus of the university, colleges, uh, institutions, but part of it, which is large size as well, industry, actual industry. Mm. So the gap there is small. And I think, so for, so for me as a professor, if I have a science park, at the University of Dubai, for example, I can easily interact with them. Well, there's a lot of space here. If you wanted to build a business park, you've got plenty of opportunity yes, potentially exactly, to do Exactly, yeah, exactly. But, but what, what then in terms of AI, because obviously your particular field and here at the College of Engineering and IT, AI is a big specialist area for you. Correct. What will be the impact, do you think, of artificial intelligence on skills training and on the development of sustainable solutions. Correct. You know, artificial intelligence means that we make the machine more smart, intelligent, mm -hmm. and then and to do things efficiently. So usually like you know previously a lot of uh, jobs based on uh, labor or human work. And the human work, you know, like you know skills, I mean physical skills, uh, it lacks the efficiency and it lacks the speed. Mm -hmm. And that's why <clears throat> AI comes to as a, as a support, not a replacement, as some, some people... As a supplement. As a right? supplement, exactly, yeah. to make things efficient with minimum resources. Mm -hmm. And that's why artificial intelligence, I see it is, as essential toward digital green well, economy. The university president earlier on uh, in, a, in a summit meeting that we had was talking about technology being absolutely central to achieving sustainable development. Is it possible to have sustainable development without that digitalization, without that technological connectivity? No way. There is no way of uh, achieve the good sustainability without the technology. And most importantly, without AI. So this will help to automate uh, everything. By automation, we can, the machine can do uh, the tasks 
with less energy consumption. And that's the key. And another one, actually, uh, we believe in, in space. UAE is exploring space. They are, the UAE is leading the exploration of space in, this, in the region. So we, here at the University of Dubai, we have established the uh, Hamad Rai Space Center lab with Mohammed Rai Space Center. Hamad Rai Space Center is like the NASA uh, in America. They are responsible for any space exploration. And one of their ambition, amb uh, ambitions is to explore Mars and establish uh, colonization uh, in Mars in 2117, which is almost... Uh, That's a very specific uh, date. Yeah, yeah, yeah very specific. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, and I think by looking uh, of an alternative uh, uh, planets mm. to live in, just in case if unforeseen disaster happened to Earth. This sounds like a race with Elon Musk to get exactly, to Mars in time. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so it'll be so it's a sustainable future in terms of genuinely, if something catastrophic happens to the Earth. Yeah, the UAE is looking at space as a, as it were, a new frontier. Exactly. A new living. And yes. how, how close are you? What are, what are you particularly... I, I, actually, the uh, UAE have started to send... Uh, they sent uh, last year a prop uh, orbiting Mars mm -hmm. to, uh, to, to you know, monitor the Mars uh, environment, weather. And then uh, uh, another, another mission, they are sending uh, moon rovers mm -hmm. to the moon. So they are exploring actually not just Mars, Moon as well, because you know Moon is the a, a station. Going yes, to be a along station, the way. Yeah, from between Earth. So are you saying watch this space? UAE could be the first country to get to Mars. Uh, not the first country, but first country in this re in the region. In the region. In the region, to get to Mars, but the. But uh, in terms of inhabitants. Inhabitants, yeah. But there are other countries as well. Yeah. But UAE has the ambition to do it, maybe before anybody else, hopefully. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you.